Hello, welcome to Batman Europe. It's good to be back as we launch our first new products for 2023 in the spring British Railway announcements. It's been a busy few months since our last quarterly instalment, including the surprise news back in December of another mainline Hunslet joining the trio that were launched a month earlier. If you didn't hear about our model of Linda in Festinog railway condition, then be sure to check out the video presented by Gary once we're finished here. In 2023, Batman celebrates 190 years in business, and to mark this milestone, all of the Batman companies around the world have devised new company logos. Alongside that, we've got new logos for our Batman branch line, Batman Narrow Gauge, and Batman Collectors Club brands. All of these have the traditional railway theme, but with a fresh look for 2023. We have a great selection of new models to start with this spring, but before we look at those, shall we see what's been going on during the winter months? February sees the launch of our 2023 Combine Volume catalogue, and as in previous years, this includes all the models that were in stock when the catalogue was compiled. Also included are models that have previously been announced, but have not yet arrived, and as you'll see, the number of such items is now dwindling, with those still to arrive often being models undergoing engineering upgrades or new tooling. Like the Graham Farish 5MT, which is receiving a sound fitted upgrade, or the new tooling Branchline Class 25s. As we move forward and deliver these final outstanding items, we will soon reach a point where all of our new releases will be unveiled first in British Railway announcements. From reruns and reliveries of existing locomotives and rolling stock to all new models which you didn't know we were working on. There's lots of fun ahead, that's for sure. December saw a further instalment of MCC news from Batman, and this included the announcement of the new Chopper Mark II bicycle by Toyway. Following Toyway's popular Mark I Chopper, the new Mark II features working steering and pedals, and this 1 to 12 scale model is available now in two colours infrared and ultraviolet. For all the MCC news, check out the video on our YouTube channel once we're finished here. The Warley Show returned at the end of November, and we were all thrilled to be back at the NEC Birmingham for the biggest show of the year following a two year hiatus. Hundreds of you enjoyed a break from the busy show in the Batman Collectors Club Members Lounge whilst our scenery experts Paul Rice and Peter Marriott were on hand to encourage visitors young and old to try their hand at model scenery, most of whom left the Batman stand with the knowledge, and most importantly the confidence, to create the landscape of their dreams with Woodland Scenics. Our events team already has a busy diary for 2023, and after attending the Great Central Railway's Winter Steam Gala last weekend, is now gearing up for Alton Model Railway Group's FebEx 2023 exhibition, which takes place in Alton, Hampshire, this weekend. The trip to Glasgow for Model Rail Scotland follows at the end of February before we head back down south to London for the London Festival of Railway Modelling at Alexandra Palace on the 18th and 19th of March. Batman are proud to sponsor this event and the Members Lounge will be back to give Batman Collectors Club members a place of solace in which to escape from the busy show. Club members can also enjoy discounted entry to this event. Look out for further details from the club via the Train Mail e-newsletter. Talking of the Collectors Club, we have two new models to share with you today, both of which have been produced exclusively for Batman Collectors Club members. Made using the award-winning Batman branch line JJA Mark II Auto Baluster tooling, we are delighted to present these two network rail auto balusters. With both the generator and non-generator variants available, the models have been expertly finished to represent the prototypes, where the original rail track blue livery has been covered with a yellow band and network rail branding. This pristine strip on each side of the wagon contrasts against the worn and rusted paintwork surrounding it, and this condition is captured by the specialised weathered finish applied to each model. Both models are in stock now, so head over to the Collectors Club website to order yours. As was the case in 2021, alongside the many releases of new liveries and identities for existing models, Last year a further 12 significant projects were completed and released to market, comprising both new tooling projects and major upgrades. Those major upgrades benefited the Graham Farish range, with the Class 03 and 04 diesel shunters receiving new chassis which incorporate DCC decoder sockets. The Class 08 which has had a new chassis and upgrades to incorporate a DCC decoder socket and speaker, allowing sound fitted models to be produced and the Class 60 which was upgraded with an X18 DCC interface and speaker to again allow sound fitted models to be offered. As far as new tooling goes, in end scale, the Class 319 and 769 multiple units were first to arrive. 
with the all-new Class 90 electric locomotives hitting the shelves in December. For 00 scale, new rolling stock was very much the order of the day, and 2022 saw the VEA van and its predecessor the Vanwide released, along with the refurbished Mark IIF DBSO. A southern duo followed, with the all-new bullied coaches and the dancehall brake vans joining the branch line range during the second half of the year. It wasn't just rolling stock in 00 though, with the all-new Batman Branch Line Class 37 debuting at the DEMU Showcase event in July. With five models already released, each of which was offered in their award-winning sound-fitted deluxe specification, we're excited to reveal the identities of our next 37 soon. With more than 400 new items delivered to Batman stockists for our railway ranges alone during 2022, it's safe to say we've been keeping busy, and that trend is set to continue as we embark on 2023. Our final two new tooling projects released in 2022 were the 009 scale Hunslets. Not only did the much-awaited quarry Hunslets make an appearance, but the larger mainline Hunslets arrived on retailers' shelves before Christmas too. Four versions of each are now available, with the mainline Hunslets also being produced with sound fitted for that added realism. You'll soon have more rolling stocks put behind your 009 net locomotives as well, with the RNAD wagons from Batman Narragage all on course to arrive with retailers before Easter. Some of our RNAD wagons depict those operating on the Statfold Barn Railway, where the Batman Roadshow returns at the start of April for their second model railway event. The following weekend is Easter, and we are delighted to be going back to York Racecourse for the York Model Railway Exhibition, which returns this year. After some disruption over the last two years, we are delighted to relaunch the coveted Batman Europe Retailer of the Year Award, and it is with great pleasure that we can now announce Great Eastern Models of Norwich as the winners for 2022. Anne Martin and Helen Arnold, who run the family-owned business, were presented with the award in December by their regional account manager, Stuart Dane, and Tony Lowe, Batman's model and hobby sales manager. Keeping model shops on the high street is a key focus for Batman Europe, and something we believe to be vitally important to the continued prosperity of our industry as a whole. And the Retailer of the Year Award helps us to acknowledge those shops that go above and beyond in helping us achieve that objective. Batman does not put itself in competition with its retailers, Instead, we encourage, support and help them to thrive. And Great Eastern is a fantastic example of what can be achieved from that relationship. A traditional model shop serving its community with a wide range of quality products, all backed up by good old fashioned customer service. Congratulations to Great Eastern Models on that much deserved award. Well, it's certainly been a busy winter for Batman and we've been busy working on new products too. So let's take a look at what's arriving in shops this spring, shall we? We kick off our new products for spring 2023 with Scenecraft. As always, every Scenecraft model is expertly moulded, finely detailed and hand painted to produce a model ready to place on your layout or diorama straight from the box. In end scale we have lots of new models this spring, first up being the post-war system built station. And this is joined by the post-war platform shelter. A second station comes in the form of Blue Anchor Station, depicting the structure on the West Somerset Railway whilst the Kent Coast signal box is perfect for many a model based in the southeast of England. Keeping with the line side, and the grounded carriage makes another fine addition. Why not use this structure away from the railway too, on a farm for example? Moving to more rural areas, and the gate in pub is a fine establishment. Or if you need a low relief watering hole, this corner pub is just the ticket. More low relief models come in the form of the gentleman's outfitter's Mars menswear, one for the ladies, Joe's jewellery, and the local garage, Butler's Garage, for all your vehicle servicing needs. Handy accessories like this police box, a pair of greenhouses, and this sleeper built fencing help to add the finishing touches to any scene. For double O scale, we have a selection of popular models returning to the scene craft range, starting with the impressive two lane engine shed. Any depot needs water, and you can have this in abundance thanks to the depot water tower whilst the new Eastern Water Crane is the ideal solution to get that water into the locomotives that need it. Provide your crew and fitters with a space to relax with the depot crew room. And for those early mornings and late nights, the wooden post yard lamps are essential for casting light on a depot or yard. Line size structures come in the form of the Crossing Keeper's Cottage, the Art Deco Signal Box, and this new Midland Hut, ideal for quieter spots, sidings or small yards. For anyone using the Scenecraft Great Central High Level Station, this single track road bridge is an essential partner. 
add the finishing touches to any station with the platform ticket kiosk and this pack of four benches which could just as well be used in a park. The line side troughs and junctions are perfect for use with the line side troughs and catch pits. Whilst these greenhouses and the style and gates will find many uses in rural settings. We round off our four mill offerings with the return of the slate retaining walls. Equally useful on a 00 layout or with 009 narrow gauge and the jacket spud van, aptly named Dinner Jacket, Baked Potatoes, Licensed to Fill. Last but not least is the return of the four lever open ground frame for O scale. Complete with levers and telephone cabinet, this is the perfect addition to a yard or branch line to ensure your railway is run safely. Next we have new models from EFE Rail and this spring sees the release of the Class 143 and 144 two car diesel multiple units in double O scale. Part of the Pacer family, the 143s and 144s were introduced by British Rail in the mid 1980s at a time when it was replacing its aging fleet of first generation DMUs. Operating until 2021, these EFE models depict the units throughout their working lives. First is this Class 143 in British Railway's Tyne and Weir Passenger Transport Executive livery. The distinctive orange, white and blue livery is complemented by the BR Double Arrows and TW Pacer logo. Next is another early livery, BR Regional Railways, but this time adorning a Class 144 unit and complete with a weathered finish. Moving back to the 143s and here we have the attractive Valley Lines livery, the company that operated services around Cardiff and in the South Wales Valleys. Arriva Trains Wales would later take over operations in Wales, and the revised colour scheme of Arriva Train Wales adorns this model which benefits from a weathered finish. A final example, which again is weathered, carries the GWR Green livery of First Group. It was back in 2004 that Batman became the first UK mainstream manufacturer to offer a commercially produced DCC system, the Easy Command Control Centre. With tens of thousands of units sold in the years that followed, in train sets and standalone, Easy Command has been the starting point in the wonderful world of DCC for countless enthusiasts. Today we go one step further and introduce Easy Command Plus, a new, easy to use DCC system which is the perfect starting point for anyone wanting to control their layout with DCC. Easy Command Plus allows you to operate multiple locomotives and for the first time up to 29 functions can be operated allowing the full suite of sound and light effects from our sound fitted models to be enjoyed. Other features include simple on track locomotive address programming and the rotary speed dial which is now complemented by an illuminated speed scale. With a new locomotive stop button you can halt your locomotive and prevent disaster or use the stop all button for a complete emergency stop and bring your whole layout to a halt. Easy Command Plus is suitable for use with DCC equipped N, 00 and 009 scale models. With simple plug and play wiring, you can start your DCC journey in minutes. For Graham Farish, the end of 2022 saw the release of the all new Class 90 electric locomotives. And today we are delighted to add number 90042 to the lineup. Finished in Freightliner's modern power haul livery, 90042 is available in standard format and with sound fitted. Moving to something a little smaller and the class 08 returns in two quintessential colour schemes. BR green with early emblem as number 13269 and in BR blue number 08895. Both models benefit from the upgrades undertaken last year meaning sound fitted options are available for each as well. Graham Farish has a rich inventory of rolling stock and today sees the first wave of new releases to allow the N-scale modeller to create authentic trains for their locomotives to pull. In many cases, wagons will be released with two rolling numbers, helping you to create variety within your collection, as often wagons of the same type and livery will be seen together. First up is the 14 ton tank wagon and in all instances two rolling numbers are available for each of these colourful liveries. We start with two examples in national benzol silver while silver is also the base colour for this Fina livery. The green scheme of Crossfield Chemicals is particularly attractive, whilst the popular Shell BP Black returns to the range. Completing the lineup are two examples in ICI Maroon. The 30 ton bogey bolster is our next subject and again, two running numbers are available for each livery. All versions are supplied with a girder load and in GWR Grey we have these two models which carry the GWR telegraph code McCaw B. 
in BR grey livery are these bogey bolster C's. Whilst BR Golf Red adorns these examples, which, like most departmental wagons, have received a code name with an aquatic theme. In this instance, they are now known as prawns. Sticking with the fishy theme, and these bogey ballast hoppers have been produced as the YGH C line in BR Engineers grey and yellow livery, with two running numbers available. For the steam era, we have two examples in BR Departmental Black, whilst another C line is the sole model offered in Load Hall Black and Orange. Also available with a single running number is this Stingray in Transrail Grey, and the Mainline Blue example, which carries only the TOPS code YGB. Continuing the bogey hopper theme, and the modern HKA wagon returns with a pair of examples carrying National Power Blue and Grey livery. These are joined by a duo finished in the vibrant red livery of DB Schenker. Finally for now we have the 27 tonne steel tipler wagon, with three versions available, each with two choices of ring number. First are these models in original BR grey livery with chalk tipler markings, whilst this pair in later BR bought site with TOPS code MSV are supplied complete with a stone load. The final pair carry the vibrant blue livery of NCB, which contrasts beautifully with the yellow striped ends and markings. With a frequent delivery of new 009 scale locomotives during the last few months, we have not forgotten about the rolling stock you will need in order to put these models to work. The new RNAD wagons from Batman Narragator are arriving this spring, and joining them we have five further versions to give you even more options to choose from. Or why not collect them all? The enclosed brake van will be offered in Welsh Highland Red livery, alongside the RNAD and Statfold Barn versions already announced whilst this box van in Southern Railway Brown joins the RNAD grey version and the Statfold Barn Micah B. A pair of open wagons are finished in the ICI Buxton Lime grey and Lenham Storage green, and these will be arriving with the Statfold Barn and Welsh Highland models you already know about. Finally, an RNAD flat wagon is offered in Dean Hill livery, joining the previously announced model with plank tens in the same scheme and the Statfold Barn Serpent B. Moving up to 00 scale in the 9F, revealed in winter with its upgraded chassis and new sound fitted options, will be available in two further guises. Both examples are fitted with single chimneys and are coupled to BR1G tenders with late crest markings, and the first depicts number 92090. Our second model portrays number 92134, a locomotive which is now preserved, famously so, as it is the only surviving 9F with a single chimney. Both models will be available with or without sound fitted, and bespoke sound projects have been produced specifically for both the single chimney variant as announced today, and the double chimney models announced in winter, which are arriving shortly. In all cases, the sound project is loaded onto an ESU Lock Sound V5DCC sound decoder. Another model to be offered with sound fitted for the first time is the Windhoff multi-purpose vehicle, and this popular model returns to the branch line range in two guises. Available in either Network Rail Yellow or Network Rail Orange colour schemes, the two car unit is adorned with multiple modules which sit on the two decks. Produced with a full complement of seven modules, most of which are removable, allowing you to run the model with your choice of modules, or even without most of the modules at all. Numerous parts and countless decoration processes are used to accurately capture the minute details seen on both vehicles and each of the seven modules resulting in these two stunning models which are available with or without sound fitted. For our next multiple unit we return to the class 158 DMU and this two car model is finished in revised Arriva Trains Wales livery. With destinations for Aberystwyth, number 158824 makes a stunning addition to the trio that we unveiled in winter and again this model is available with or without sound fitted. With Mark II coaches in Scott Rail livery soon to hit the shelves, this twin pack of TSOs in matching Scott Rail scheme will allow those modelling the Scottish operations to create a longer rake of coaches. Perfect to couple up to your favourite branch line Class 47 or Class 37. Talking of Class 37s, and we are delighted to unveil the identities of the next models to be produced from the all new branch line tooling. Following the quintet that hit the shelves in 2022, along with several retailer specials, our next six models cater for some of the many requests we've had since the new 37 was unveiled. First is number D6710 in as delivered condition. Decorated in BR Green livery, 
This Series 1 locomotive sports split headco panels which are glazed, round oleo buffers and original buffer beam valances. Along with the English electric Cantrell grills, the boiler roof is a riveted construction employing double rows of rivets. The open boiler port and presence of safety valves along with body side water for the door and steps indicates a locomotive with steam heating capabilities and optional etched frost grills are included too. The original water and fuel tanks are present, complete with the water filler on the tank. The loco runs on fabricated bogies with original speedo drive and mileage counter. Continuing the BR green theme, but this time with small yellow warning panels, is number D6829. This Series 2 locomotive was built for the Western Region, and our model correctly sports Western Region lamp brackets either side of the glazed central headco panels. Fitted into the original buffer beam valance are oleo buffers, whilst long corner handrails and headboard clips also adorn the nose of this English electric loco. Whilst the boiler roof is welded, D6829 shares the same features as its green sister when it comes to its steam heat provision, and this too runs on fabricated bogies. Next we have a locomotive built by Robert Stevenson and Hawthorne, class 370 number 37194 British International Freight Association, in BR Rail Freight Distribution Sector Livery. With its central headco panels plated and fitted with marker lights, the buffer beam valance has been removed and oval buffers are present along with coupling bash plates. Sporting roof mounted horns, headboard clips and long corner handrails on the nose ends, the Cantrell grills are of Robert Stevenson and Hawthorne pattern. The welded boiler roof has seen the boiler port blanked off and the safety valves plated over, whilst the body side water for the door and steps have also been sealed. Cast bogies flank the twin fuel tanks and the gauge of the former water tank has been plated over. The original speedo drive remains, fitted to the left hand side of the number 2 bogey as usual. Another class 370 next, and this is number 37201 St Margaret in BR Engineers Grey and Yellow. This centre head code machine has seen its head code panels plated and marker lights fitted, along with a high intensity headlight below. Headboard clips and long corner nose handrails are present, whilst the buffer beam valance has been removed and oval buffers are fitted, as are coupling bash plates. NRN aerials top the nose ends and roof mounted horns are present. The welded boiler roof has had its boiler port blanked off and safety valves plated. The body sides sport English electric cantrail grills and the water filler door and steps have been sealed. The number one end bogey is cast, whilst the number two end bogey is fabricated the latter being fitted with an original speedo drive. Between the bogies, the water tank has seen its gauge plated over and this is now in use as a second fuel tank. A 37.4 for you now, and number 37.414 Cathay's C&W Works 1846-1993, sporting the regional railways livery. This refurbished machine has plated centre headco panels fitted with sealed beam marker lights. High intensity headlights are present along with NRN aerials, whilst ETH equipment is fitted and the loco carries oval buffers. The cast bogies are fitted with original speedo drive and slow speed control, whilst the water tank has been converted to a fuel tank and gauges are now present on both sides of the loco. On the roof we see the twin horns, welded by the roof and plated by the port and safety valves. The Cantorail grills tell us this is an English electric built machine. Finally for now, and depicting current day operations, we have class 370 number 37175 in Colas rail freight livery. The colourful Colas scheme adorns this English electric built loco which has seen its body side water for the door and access steps plated over. The boiler roof is welded with a blanked off boiler port and plated safety valves and roof mounted horns are present, below which we can see the reinforced cab windscreen. The busy nose sports plated centre headco panels with marker lights, a high intensity headlight below and western region lamp brackets either side. Headboard clips can be seen along with the long corner nose handrails and NRN aerials. The buffer beam cowling has been removed and the loco is fitted with oval buffers. 
Between the cast bogies, which retain the original speedo drive at the number 2 end, can be seen the new extended range fuel tanks with joint drain pipe. Each of these six new models will be available in three formats, standard, sound fitted and sound fitted deluxe. As we've seen, our standard models incorporate all the relevant details and variations applicable to the locomotive being modelled, all of which is highlighted by the exquisite livery application which is achieved using multiple paint applications, printing processes and specialist finishing techniques, using true to prototype colours, fonts and specifications. Standard models feature our dual fitted speaker system along with a Plux 22 DCC interface. The powerful 5 pole motor is fitted with twin flywheels and is connected to both bogies, giving drive to all 6 axles whilst all 12 wheels provide electrical pickup. Each axle is also fitted with a pair of metal bearings which locate within the bogey to provide smooth, reliable running. Lighting on analog control includes directional lights, including head code boxes and high intensity headlights where appropriate or add a decoder and use on DCC to enjoy additional lighting features, in particular those which are typically seen when the locomotive is stationary, namely cab lighting and engine room lighting. Our sound fitted models incorporate all of these standard features, but with a Zemo MS450 P22 DCC sound decoder also fitted to take full advantage of our dual fitted speaker system. The decoder is loaded with one of four unique sound projects, depending on the particular locomotive being modelled, with all sound projects being developed specifically for the branch line model. For the ultimate experience, look no further than our award winning sound fitted deluxe specification, which offers all the benefits found on a sound fitted model. Plus, a motorised roof fan, driven by a second independent motor, and tinted windscreen glazing, replicating the finish of the windscreens on the real locomotives. For our final new 00 scale model this spring, we have new tooling and we are delighted to present the MXA Lobster Bogey Open Wagon. Built for DB Cargo within the last decade, the wagons use the frames from redundant BDA bogey bolsters with new bodies fitted on top. Used primarily for engineering work, DB has continued the tradition of giving aquatic codenames to engineering wagons by calling the MXAs Lobsters. Outshopped in DB Cargo's vibrant red livery, the branch line model is available with a choice of two running numbers. That concludes our new announcements for now. With an exciting mix of models across the scales and eras, we hope there's something for most there. Be sure to contact your local Batman stockist for anything that took your fancy. And there's plenty of chances for you to catch the Batman Roadshow and see these models for yourselves over the coming months. In particular, we look forward to welcoming members of the Batman Collectors Club to the Members' Lounge when it returns to the London Festival of Railway Modelling in March. We'll be back here for our next British Railway announcements later in the year. So until then, goodbye. <laughs>